Good morning, Planet YouTube. How are you this morning? I hope you're all right. I've just spent a mad 10 minutes wondering when I was looking for my glasses. I have this very, very bad habit of getting up in the morning, I stick a dressing gown on, I come downstairs, make Daryl's breakfast, make myself a cup of tea, and then I sit and read the news while he's eating breakfast. Then I go upstairs and I get dressed and all that lot. In between reading the internet and getting dressed, I stick my glasses in my dressing gown pocket every single time. And then I drop down off and I come home and I go, where the fuck are my glasses? They're in my fucking pocket. It's a really, really bad habit. Anyway, now I've smudged them because I've been holding them. So I'll quickly clean them on my t-shirt because, you know, that's what t-shirt's for, isn't it? That do? Right, I can see. Haha. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Today in My Bujo. And, um... Let's get on with it. It is Monday the 25th of February. It is a beautiful day again. Blue skies, weather app, pay attention. It is blue skies out there today. But, you know, of course it's not going to pay attention. I did my face cream and my hands last night. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. <coughs> oh my word, I've got a glass of water, hang on. I'm bloody frog in my throat. Right. Did I do that last night? It's awful. I can never remember. Right. Steps. Now, I know that I hit my step goal last night. Like 11,970. That was a bit better, wasn't it? So, oop, almost on the 12,000 mark. I knew we put it in yesterday. Uh, day before yesterday's then. So, are you all having a good Monday so far? I hope so. I'm off to the bank in a minute and to get some steps in, get some walking done for my Fitbit challenge. Um, <clears throat> oh, pardon me. <coughs> I was trying to cough discreetly and ended up coughing quite like <clears throat> Um... I didn't do the work tops on the floor last night. I just I was so tired. I just went to bed. Okay, so we're now into week nine. If you want to go and check out my setup video for that, it's it's a quick one. Um, yeah. So I don't know how well you can read that, but today Daryl went back to school. Yay! And Twisted Bingo is the name of the challenge that I'm doing on Facebook. Uh, for Fitbit rather. Duh. Right, let's change my pen. And skip back to my tracker. I have put day face cream on. Yeah, they look very alike, don't they? Bugger. Oh well. Wow, they look completely the same. Oh man, that's a bit of a shit. Oh well, never mind. Right, <clears throat> let's pull a card. First off, we need to pick a colour because I'm going to use a different deck today. So I'm going to use this colour because it's a nice green. And I'll colour in this. And the reason I'm using green is because the deck I'm going to use, this is 228 by the way, the deck I'm going to use is called the Greenwich Tower. So, so that was 228. 228. Greenwich. <coughs> oh dear, pardon me. And this is another pretty deck at the back. And again, it's got very nice images. <laughs> now, those of you that know me quite well know that I do other crafts like knitting and spinning. And she's actually doing, holding a drop spindle. Uh, I've not actually looked at this card before. And there's another one in the deck where she sat at a spinning wheel. 
and I love it. It's probably one of my most favourite cards. But it is all very centred towards crafts and uh, and all of that kind of thing. It's a fantastic deck. I love it. It's not as uh, it's it's my second favourite after the other deck that you've seen me use. I will link below where you can get this if you're at all curious. In other decks, that's known as the Chariot. Pretty card, isn't it? So that is somebody who is ploughing ahead at full pace. Look, the horses are galloping. He looks like he's in total control, but there are no reins. You noticed? No reins at all. Actually, there's not even bridles on these horses. They're just tethered to the wagon and the wagon's going full pelt. So either he's very sure of his control over the horses or the horses are running wild. So let's grab a pen because we do today. Let's do orange. <coughs> no, actually, let's do green because it's green which time. I did green yesterday. I can't do green. We'll do orange. Okay. Um, okay, Ooh, that's very green, uh, very orange. Oh my word. Yes, actually, it's also reinforcing yesterday's, which said no need to rush forward blindly. And I've just sort of written again don't rush ahead blindly. Make sure you are in control. Happy with the direction you are going. Sometimes two lines is not enough. <laughs> okay, right. <clears throat> so that one will get put back in the deck and shuffled up for future use. Right, sleep. I'm quite annoyed this is the same freaking colour as the other one. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, so 12.30 till 7.15 Last night was not as good because it took me bloody ages to fall asleep which I hate when I'm so tired I mean I left Amanda stream early last night so that I could go and get in the bath and then go to sleep and um I might as well just stayed in there because I ended up lying awake for quite a while up and down to the bloody toilet. It is marginally light at that pen, but still. Eleven nine seventy, is it? Four point. Seven. There we go. Okay, what have I got on for today? Oops. I couldn't do that again if I tried. <coughs> I've done the loo and the laundry. And the rest of it I will do later. It's a light day today. I try to make it that Monday is a light day because it's like the day Daryl goes back to school after the weekend. So, um, I don't want to be at home doing chores. I want to get out and escape. <laughs> as awful as that sounds, but you know, you know what I mean. I just want to go out and have some fun and 
not be at home doing chores. Right, let's find oh bloody hell, it's called me washi story. I bought this washi story on Amazon and while it holds a lot, it um it doesn't tend to stay together. So it's a bit uh, actually, I think I'm gonna use that sample there because that's pretty. I've got no idea what it says because it's all in French, I think. Yeah, it's supposed to clip together and it's great if you get it right. I wouldn't want to pick it up and carry it with me anywhere. I wouldn't trust it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not that grand. But it's only a tenner, so it does for now. But I'm going to have to go shopping um, when we go to when we go to England, as I say. Um, I'm going to have to see what is uh, available, maybe from Hobbycraft or somewhere like that. My table is perfectly level, right? I know it is because I flip in my way draw of that. So why do pens want to roll into my hands all the bloody time? Hmm? Ask me that. Because they're a pain in the... Oh, shit. Sorry. Because they're a pain in the fucking ass is the answer. Just... I used to do it with a ruler, right, ripping off the washi tape, but it started to look messy. The ends weren't quite so neat, so I'm going to get a palette knife and try um, Cindy Llama Letters and try her tricks, see if that works. So, right. Let's grab... <laughs> Not a box of darbers. I think I'm going to do the orange soda because again, that was something I only used briefly on the flowers spread. Got crack it bright. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Um, stencils, stencils. Should we use the big ones or the little ones? No, let's use the big ones. Why not? What is it? Twenty fifth. Um. Yeah. It's while it's bright. Um. I haven't used it yet, not not in uh, numbers anyway. So right, let's do twenty. Oh, it's a gorgeous day, but it's cold. Got the doors and windows open, and I'm sort of thinking, uh, I might go and shut the door in a minute. Twenty-five, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all sticking. Right. <laughs> okay. Stop it. Stupid thing. Let's put you about. I don't want to put it too close because this is the side the rings will go on. I think. Yeah, this is the side the rings will go on. So I want to bring it in so that it doesn't interfere with the rings. So I think. About there should do it. Has anybody seen any number stencils you want me to have a go at? To test for you? You know? Somebody else can try before you buy, maybe? <laughs> Let me know. I'm willing to give it a go. I don't mind. As long as they're not stupidly, stupidly expensive, you know. So, it's Monday. What are your plans? Come on. Although, by the time you see this, it'll be Tuesday. <laughs> well, if you're in the UK. My us -y people, it should only be like, what, mid-afternoon by the time you see this? So, what are your plans for today? And if you're in the UK, what are your plans for tomorrow? Bzzzd. Look, my phone's woken up. What a shock. <laughs> right, let's put that. No, oh, I should have staggered that, shouldn't I? If I'd staggered that, I could have put that bit in there. Never mind. Oh, well. All you do with these is you literally just rub them. Across. These are like wax crayons. And you just rub them across so that your dauber gets all nice and full. 
and then you just find circular motions are better goes down smoother and that's it and I learned about these from um, Amanda over at Eclectic Scribbles most of what I learned I learned from her to be honest so you know her and Cindy have been my inspiration I like to keep my stencils in order so um, when it comes to finding them you know I can be relatively sure that two is going to be after one rather than somewhere down the bottom of the fucking pack it just makes it easier to find stuff and I do like you know order I'm a messy person by nature I always have been um, and it drives me batty because my daughter's the same but I do actually like stuff to be in order and it bugs me when it's not All right there's no labeling because I had actually already labeled that one after I used it on the big flowers that I did in March and you'll see those soon enough if you haven't already There we go. Um, shall we have a look at the weather just for the giggles? Let's see, it says currently it's 11 degrees and sunny, but oh, look at that, there's a bloody cloud. Oh, why am I not surprised? The sun came up at 6.58 this morning. Wow, <laughs> that just seems early after all the... After all the crappy weather... But it's going to be even warmer today at 14 degrees. I'm quite excited because I'm doing a whole new system for tracking weather next month, which is um, in my March setup. And I'm quite excited to see how it's going to come out. But I'm also worried that I'm going to miss seeing it on each day. It's funny, isn't it? I'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, right. I'll be changing fountain pens today as well because Monday is a new dawn. It's a new day. You watch, I'll probably get bloody um, cut out for singing pop songs. Right. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for today, I think, so far. I'm going to go and clean some door frames or something. Yeah. Right, I'm pretty much up to date. Okay, people, um, I'm going to go on and get on with my Monday. I'm off to the bank. Walk in the sunshine and have a fantastic day. I hope the sun is shining where you are. I know it's not for quite a lot of people over in the US. They've got the snow in the desert. Snow in the desert. How does that work? Um, and by desert, I mean Arizona. Um, somebody posted a photo the other day and there was shit I just know. And they were like, we're in Arizona. I was like, that's a desert. How can you have snow in a desert? But there you go. What do I know? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful here. Uh, I will wish warm weather your way, wherever you are. Uh, have a good day. Enjoy your Monday. And I'll see you a bit later on for the evening, finishing up a bit. that I haven't given a name yet. So what can I call the evening bit? Answers. I was going to say answers on a postcard, but, you know, it's quicker if you just put them in the comments. Have a good day, you guys. Bye. Brits being Brits, the minute there's a bit of sunshine, everybody seems to flock to the beach, you know. Oh, it's freezing, but we're going to go and have an ice cream. Because, you know, <laughs> why not? <clears throat> right. Oh, dear. I'm just having one of those days, you know, I ache and I'm tired and I hurt and I hurt and I hurt. Yes, I hurt that much. <laughs> um, my mood's been okay. A little stress out earlier over something, but that's fine. But unfortunately, my pain's also been quite high because I've done a lot. But, you know, that's just... That just cannot be helped. So.
Sundays. Right. So, I did blue in the laundry this morning. I have sort of tidied my office. I need to give it a good proper blitz, actually. Pardon me. I need to mop the floor tonight. Vacuuming upstairs happened today. As did the bath and the sink, so you can't tell that those are different bloody colours. Oh well, never mind, eh? So I'll go and do the lounge window in a minute. I'll only take two minutes. Give the TV a quick wipe. Wipe down Daryl's table. Chuck everything in the dishwasher. And then sweep and mop the floor. Okay, today I went to the bank. Yay! I wrapped presents. We did get happy mail though. Look. <laughs> this is just covering my address. So if you watch Eclectic Scribbles, you will know that she got a postcard from my son Daryl. And he just did some artwork on it and we sent it off. And I just wrote Love Daryl on it. And lit literally that was all it was. And she sent us a little letter back today. <laughs> so that was kind of cute. He was very, very pleased. And he hugged the, the, the picture. Um, I'll put that picture in here. But it, it was incredibly cute. I'll also link to when she got his, um, if I can find it. Because I know it's in one of her studio vlogs. So I'm going to add that letter into my journal here as a tip-in, I think. I need to know it'll have to be this side, because that's the side the rings are going to go on. Yeah, I'll shard it here. Hopefully it won't cover up too much. <coughs> but, because I'll go there. And I'm now going to switch my fountain pen into this adorable little thing. Look, at the, look how small that is. Isn't that adorable? You're possibly wondering how you write with it. Well, you unscrew the lid and then you screw the lid onto the back. And this has got some gorgeous um, ink in it. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to link my ink down below when I my pens and all that lot. But oh, it's a lovely colour. Hang on, look, I'll show you. It's like a very dark blue grey. I love it. Yeah. It's really, really nice once it's dried. So, anyway, I will go and finish off the few little chores that I've got to do. Um, which is, like I say, just give the window a quick once over. And then I'm going to go and get in the bath that I've just this minute cleaned, actually. And um, soak for a bit because, yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it today, really. There's not much else, I think. Have I forgotten anything? Oh, yes, I have. Um, someone asked me a question. I'm going to go grab it, and then I will come back, and I'll answer that question. Okay, I found it. She says, of course, I've got to close this bloody thing now. Because I forgot I was recording and not editing. It's from Gemma. <coughs> and she wants to know. Um, oh, come on, picture load up. When do challenges normally come out for next month? And is it just on that Instagram Bujo Challenges page that you can find them? Um, they normally come out anything within the last 10 days of the month. Um, it's not only on Bujo challenges that you can find them. You can actually find them on the, the the people who set the challenges themselves. Like Eclectic Scribbles sets one. Um, Cindy at Llama Letters sets one. Uh, all of that. Bujo challenges just tends to go through, find them all for you and post them all. It's, it's, they don't post any of their own. They just post other people's to make it a little bit easier for everybody to find. Um, I don't know if there's any other Instagrammers that do what Bujo challenges does. Secondly, have you got any tips on how to get into the habit of journaling every day? Make it part of your routine. 
that is the the best I can suggest. I get up in the morning, um, I come down, um, I get my little one some breakfast. He's four, so I get him some breakfast. I sit and I have a cup of tea while he eats breakfast. Um, if it's a day that he's at preschool, I take him to preschool and um, then I come home and normally the first thing I do is I, I look in my journal, I open my journal and um, it's just become, it takes about half an hour what I do in the morning, the bit that you see before the break, it's, it's roughly about half an hour, I mean it's slowed down a little bit because I do it for the camera um but yeah it generally takes about half an hour that's not very long in the grand scheme of things and then in the evening it's about 15 20 minutes so all in all it's only about an hour each day and that's just the basic basic basics i mean if you want to do stuff like art in it and all that lot well you you'll have to figure out what time is best for you but yeah make it a part of your routine if if you're not a mum with young children running around screaming all over the place then I would say you know sit down with your morning cuppa and do it um I do it at a desk at the moment simply because it's all loose and trying to figure this out on my lap would be a complete and total nightmare not only that but my recording equipment's on my desk so um but I used to do it in a book and the good thing about a book is is you can take to the sofa with you you know you can take a get yourself a little tote to stick all your pens and washi and whatever else you you specifically like to use um and you know a lot of people have a little crafty tote that they carry around and um you can go and sit and do it while you're watching the tv but yeah i mean it shouldn't take over your life but for a, for a little while if you're not used to journaling then set aside a time of day that you're going to think right I'm going to look in my journal it's logical for me to do it in the morning because my planner is in here and I keep a point I keep everybody's appointments um I keep appointments for my mum my partner I have five children in total and they all tell me when they've got appointments I don't know why but they always have and they probably always will and then there's my appointments and it all goes in here not only that but I do run a business as well I'm a manager for a house uh we rent out rooms um so I keep things like that in here um you know I'm gonna I need to change color of that specific pen but just under there I don't know if you can see it I've got that I'm gonna go live well I've also got to sit and work out how I want my week to look it's probably gonna end up looking like this because it's quick and easy and this works for me but if not, I'm, I need to make some notes somewhere, you know, so that all gets done in my journal. Sometimes it is just the morning and the evening session that you see. Other times I'll come in and I'll, you know, spend 20 minutes doing something like that. It just depends on how I feel. But yeah, with your morning cuppa, I would say, sit and, or just after your morning cuppa, just take the kids to school, you know, find that little half an hour slot where you can sit and do it. And that is literally all it takes. It takes about half an hour for me to do this weekly. Um, it takes a couple of hours for me to do my monthly spread. But you don't have to do that all in one go. You know, you can work out, well, you know, I have um, my my cover page. Um, let's have a look. Let's say, right, I've got my cover page. <clears throat> my calendar my main tracker my card a day my about me trackers my steps and sleep trackers my cleaning tracker and then that new tracker that I've added in <clears throat> okay so that's what not counting the decorative cover page so that's one two three four five six that's seven double spreads you could do two a week do you know what I mean? So you could do like one of them on a Monday and another one on a Thursday or a Friday to help make it seem less of a huge, huge thing that you've then got to worry about. You know, um, me, I like to sit down and get it all done in one go because um, I like to bully myself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I do it like that, but there you go. I always regret it afterwards because it always hurts. But yeah, so in the morning with your coffee or your cup of tea and then... Um, it kind of just becomes a habit. I couldn't not look in my diary. 
you know, because that's, that's, I need to know what I've got to do today. And if I don't look at my diary, well, how the hell am I supposed to know? So there you go. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> I rambled a bit. I know. I'm really sorry. I'm tired and I need a painkiller. So I'm going to go and do that. Have tea though. That's good, isn't it? My son made me a cup of tea in the lovely. Um, right. I'm off, and I will see you all in the morning. Um, it'll be a slightly later morning for me because I have to rush off to an appointment. But there you go. Um, yeah. I hope you found this video helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Hit the book and you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you will be notified when I upload new content. Please leave me a comment. You guys know that I love to interact with you. I love knowing that you guys are there. April, darling, you're fab too. Um, you're all fab. I just I love that you, you guys keep coming back and watching. I get such a kick when I open my YouTube in the morning and people have commented on my video. You guys have no idea no idea what that's doing for me i am very humbled by it and yeah it perks my mood up when my mood is a bit shit so thank you guys thank you very very much you're all fab um right go on off you go go and do your day and i'll see you all tomorrow take it easy guys i love you loads bye oh tomorrow tomorrow evening new nails i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait